I feel like I'm in two different worlds. Like I have to dress my culture, I have to speak in my language, and you get to know experience of being in the American culture, and you can have like your experience in your own culture. And it's just an amazing feeling how I can be like the same people, but in two different worlds, even though we're in the same world. And it just feels amazing knowing that I was born over there but I was raised here so basically I feel like I am American and I also feel like I'm kitchen and it's just an amazing feeling. Uh, I think some of the biggest challenges is just well the main thing is like not you're not fully accepted into the kitchen culture or the American culture or you're just like in between like when you go to school you're not like your American friends so you you're kind of left out and at the same time when you go to uh, church on Sundays and then you're not like you're not fully kitchen so it's just like you're just in between the two well me I uh, I actually look at it as a bonus because like I'm into music and so like when I'm listening to music I'm not just limited to a kitchen music or American music like I can I have a variety of uh, different music that I can choose and stuff so I think it's kind of a good thing. The Kachin American is like Kachin culture and American culture, we added it together. We cannot hold all the time the Kachin culture all the time. We have to hybrid it. We need to learn how to put it together as a healthy way. So as a next generation, we have to show what is our culture, what is our root is. We cannot be all the time American. We have to also have to be like a kitchen too. Also, like we cannot all the time have to be like, oh, kitchen, kitchen, kitchen. We have to add it to the America because we immigrated to America. So we have to add two culture and then we have to make it how possible way to get the like healthy culture to combining. Um, how I understand kitchen American is knowing your past and knowing your uh, history, knowing your uh, grandparents and your parents' um, backgrounds and never forgetting them even though you're living in America and um, exposed to all these social pressures as well as like different beliefs and um, not giving into conforming to those beliefs but also holding on to the ones that your parents raised you up with and um, instilled into you ever since you were a child. How do I feel being Kitchen American? Um, I sometimes feel out of place. I might feel confused sometimes, but um, coming to events like these will always like uh, just bring me back to uh, who I actually am and show me my true identity and also um, just, I don't know, uh, how would you say it? Um, connected yeah, just connected to my roots. Kachin American is a person who was born in Kachin or Burma and came here, have Kachin parents, mm -hmm. and now here trying to establish a life here in America, okay. pursue education. Mm, in the beginning, it was tough. Okay. I came here when I was six years old, mm -hmm. so I wanted friends to play with, okay. and um, even small gestures okay. when I used to say, come play with me okay. over here, okay. that means go away. All right, in, in. So, okay. yeah, but now, Growing up, middle school, high school, college, mm -hmm. and a career, it's, it's a blessing. Okay, so the way I understand it is obviously it's a hybrid identity. Um, and the first part of it, you know, being an American, I think for my generation, you know, that's sort of what we're trying to figure out. Like how much, you know, how much of an American, you know, should we be? What does it mean to be an American? And I think that for me, um, the American part of the Gachin American is, trying to become part of the mainstream America, right? So mainstream America, that, you know, meaning like the professional class in America, um, be becoming part of the middle class in America, you know, not just being in this survival mode and um, be in this immigrant mode, basically, and trying to, you know, coming to see America as our home, our place, our own country. And then obviously there's a second half, um, the Kachin part, and, you know, I think it, it just means, um, knowing your roots um, and staying connected to your roots um, you know whether it does, doesn't matter you know where you are um, in the American society always knowing your roots um, yeah
Um, okay, so first off, I think that I was able to, you know, do volunteer works like that because I see myself as a Kachin American rather than just as a Kachin. Um, and I say that because, you know, a lot of time when you see yourself as only a Kachin immigrant in America, right? Not as a Kachin American, this is America is my place. Um, when you are only seeing yourself as the first, you know, sort of identity, what happens is, you know, you're trapped in the survival mode and you're only thinking about, you know, um, your financial hardship and how to make your life better. But it is only when you're able to see yourself as a Kachin American that, you know, you start thinking about the community beyond you, beyond the community in America, you know, to the community um, in Burma. Um, and so I went back in 2013 for the first time, and that was the first time since I left Burma. I left Burma in 2003, so that was 10 years after I had left. Um, and it was an absolutely phenomenal experience for me, you know, to know that um, even though I was educated and brought up in America, that, you know, I, I was able to go back and like reconnect with them and like really, you know, just walk through um, Gucci neighborhoods and like seeing these, um, you know, just being able to walk into shops and they were just gachins, like talking in gachins. And that was a really powerful experience for me um, because in America, speaking Gachin, you know, that's a very private thing. But when you go back to Burma and to Gachin state, like that becomes, you know, like around you everywhere. And me being able to experience that was, it was, you know, really, it was very powerful for me. And knowing that I was able to somehow contribute, you know, no matter how small or how big to the community and that the community, you know, really value that, that meant a lot to me. I feel that it's something unique that we bring to the table here in America and uh, because of, of our abundance of culture and unique traditions that uh, we can sh showcase the American people and sometimes I feel like we have a chip on our shoulder because there are people back home that are needing our help and stuff like that. So. Um, for me, it's uh, American for me is like a hybrid of identity with two culture and it is also a privilege of, you know, uh, having a same tradition, mm -hmm. language, and then culture of Gachines. At the same time, you also have like building up the American culture. It also defines you as a different from others, but you are special. And also we need to, the only thing you need to do is like, you need to balance of those differences, which is uh, American and Gachin at the same time without losing each one another. Um, for me, it's like I really would like every Kachin American to know of the deep understanding of what's the meaning of Kachin American is. And because like it is really important and when people don't understand enough, they might lose somewhere, you know, I mean, f for defining themselves. And uh, it, maybe in some uh, in some cases, some stereotype people, they also define you like, um, okay, you are not speaking Kachin, so you are not Kachin at all. So don't let those people to frame you in like what they want to. Just be yourself and let them show that what the Kachin American is really meaningful. Being a Kachin American is being Kachin and growing up here in America um, surrounding yourself with um, American friends, so you grow up as an American, but you also have your Kachin traditions. Um, well, I think it's a very unique thing because, you know, it's a mix of two cultures uh, coming together. And uh, coming, like, at the age of around 9 and 10, um, I already, like, adapted enough over there uh, to, to bring the culture over here and then it's like uh, just the mix of culture and understanding in two different cultures is like I think it's very amazing for me because I can I can like understand I don't know more than you know I, I think I would be. Um, the only problem I has is that nobody knows what Burma is mm -hmm. so it's difficult to explain to people what mm -hmm. that is mm -hmm. but other than that I don't really face any other discrimination than being Asian. They group all Asians as Asians so okay. they only ever ask if the, they don't really know anything about being Kachin mm -hmm. so even if I do explain that I am Kachin they mm -hmm. don't understand what that is 
okay. so it's hard to explain to them my culture. I mean, I feel more unique about it. Like, okay. I don't have a problem against it. I think it's mm -hmm. cool. Um, so when I came here 15 years ago, I was in elementary, mm -hmm. second grade. I didn't speak English. I only spoke Kachin and Burmese. Mm -hmm. um, I was re really scared, you know, because the culture was really different. Mm -hmm. I didn't know anybody. Uh, but after I graduated from high school, so basically right now, I feel more integrated to the American so uh, society. I know the way they think, uh, why they do certain things like dating, um, going to college, which is a big thing as an American. So as a Kachin American, I feel like I have the best of both worlds because I'm Kachin because I still have my language, still have my heritage. But as an American, I'm more, um, as an individual, I'm able to open my horizon to what I could become. Um, the Kachin American dream for me would be going back to Burma someday um, as a professional. Maybe it could be a doctor, lawyer, or whatever kind of um, big uh, person, and going back and helping, giving back to those people who need it most. Um, the Kachin American dream for me um, is to um, graduate uh, college and get a high degree there and um, make my parents proud, you know, because uh, like every parent wants to make you like, like wants the best from out of you. So like, yeah, I want to, I want to make them proud and be successful. And um, after that, like, I want to like give, like, get them like a big house if I could. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cause I always think about that. Yeah. And like nice car. Yeah. yeah. Nice car, and, and um, if uh, I have the chance um, for the Kachin community, I, I want to um, go back to Burma and um, help the IDP Kach uh, Kachins in Burma. Uh, yeah, because I, I know that like they ha they don't have like the things that we have, like the opportunities we have here in uh, America. And um, yeah, I, I thank God, and I'm so blessed that I'm in this country where I can like study and uh, have fun and like, you know, uh, work. So I, I want to help them and give back to my uh, Kachin community people. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's like, you know, you are in the land of opportunity. So just do whatever you want and achieve your goals. Not like your parents push for or what your parents are hopeful for. Just, you know, what you really love to do, those experience. I mean, walk and then just be yourself and doing, achieve your goals and not choosing by the life career that your parents are pushing for. Okay. Um, for me, it's like um, my dream is like I really want to help the help back to the people who live in Kachin land, mm -hmm. especially um, to the IDB people. Mm -hmm. And then I really want to do a con uh, really want to conduct a research mm -hmm. for the woman issue. My Kachin American dream is to have um, a good education, to be able to go to college and to get my degree so that I can become like a doctor, something in the medical field so that I can like make my parents proud. I want to go back to um, Burma and then go to the IDP camps mm -hmm. and because you know I want to like teach English there because um, I think you know it will be very beneficial. Kachin American dream. I think it's slowly being fulfilled. Okay. Being here at camp, mm -hmm. we get to, we're so, our, our people are so rooted in our culture. Mm -hmm. We can't forget even if we want to. Um, God is always with us. That's our right. culture and tradition is always with us. Um, we can't fully immerse ourselves in our old culture. And we really can't do that here while we're over here either. So we are, there is a, there is a balancing act to do. The Kachin American dream for me is uh, be successful but have something professional or some kind of asset to go back and help in some way. It doesn't just have to be basic like doctor or being a doctor or engineer but in some way. My Kachin American dream right now is to get a good education which I'm doing right now in college to get a good spiritual foundation. Um, my relationship with Jesus, okay. 
and to be an uh, asset to my community, to my Kachinim community, to, to my American community. Okay. Um, so after I finish my college mm -hmm. uh, for physical therapy, okay. I hope to contribute uh, to my knowledge of the human body and how it moves. And yes. I know there's like the stereotype about being like a doctor with Asians and all that, mm -hmm. but I don't really care about that as long as I'm independent and mm -hmm. I'm happy with myself and mm -hmm. living in America because we already have all this freedom, so as long as I'm happy, then I'm okay with that. เงาะเลชิลิบยาโนริงเรเงเดเมรกาดูเอ Thank you so much for joining us.